Thank you. It's not like it's going to harden up, so... <laughs> this dry a little bit you can kind of nice. get the whoops keep off more of the sand you get a nice outline of the foot and how he bears weight or like how much pressure he's going to put on his toes when he breaks over We're going to pack the molds first. These are the molds of Lucas's feet that were sent to us by the zoo. These are also molds. We normally pack our products in a single lined plastic bag. However, the zoo had a lot of extra packing materials, so we didn't want to waste it. So we're packing it in bubble wrap. Bumblefoot is um, a word we use for pododermatitis in birds, and that's where they have the ability to make some calluses, but not as good as us mammals. And eventually, uh, since they can't make good calluses, they'll get an erosion and sometimes a dermatitis or an infection in that big callus when they're bearing weight inappropriately. Bumblefoot is 
not an infrequent diagnosis in birds. It usually means the animal has either a skeletal or a neurologic problem and they're bearing weight inappropriately, or if they say were a perching bird and had inappropriate types of perching to hold on to. But with, with Lucas's case, it's because he has um, the spinal injury that causes him to walk flatter. This started for him a couple of years back now where he uh, was very ill. On CT, we diagnosed discospondylitis, which is an infection in the discs down the spinal cord. And the inflammation around those infections uh, impacted the spine. So he is just weaker uh, with his nerves and his muscle control. So instead of being up like a normal penguin, he's down flat on what would be like our ankles. One thing that's special about the Therapaw boots that we're using is they're very individual. It's like, instead of taking like a size nine off the shelf at the shoe store, these are geared specifically for him. Lucas, um, it's been far enough since his discospondylitis that if he was gonna regain normal nerve function, he would have. So because of that, he's gonna always be impaired with how he walks. He will have to wear these boots for the rest of his life or something like that. So for the rest of his life, we'll be doing different mitigations to try to keep his feet as healthy as we can and keep him as comfortable as we can. Lucas was not walking appropriately. He was showing a lot of tenderness on his left side, which is where his bumble is located. Um, so you would see him listing to the right a bit um, and you would see him limping on his left foot. Uh, since we've been able to put the shoes on him, he's shown a much more normal gait, um, walking on flat surfaces. There's no limping, there's no favoring um, his left side any longer. Because of the way the shoes have been constructed, uh, they're, they're forcing him to walk a little bit differently. They're uh, kind of moving him forward so there's a little padding on the inside that forces his foot forward so we see him actually moving his toes when he walks now which is something we hadn't seen in years so the the shoes are you know as we we said this is an evolution it's a process this is where we are now and we can just hope that in the future we can continue to make shoes that are appropriate for him that will help him get more and more comfortable walking I'm so excited that we've been able to do this for Lucas. Uh, Lucas was one of the first birds that I raised here at San Diego Zoo. Um, so I've known him since he was an egg um, and we, we are very attached to each other. So it warms my heart just to know that we've been able to do something to make him more comfortable uh, and to make him fit into the colony a little bit. So at Therapol, people find us um, where there's, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And when people are desperate for um, uh, something to, you know, help their pets feel better and to help their pets get around better and to help with mobility and to help with ability, uh, people, uh, you know, thank goodness for the digital age because people do a lot of searching on the Internet and that's how they find us. And then through word of mouth, one zoo told another zoo, told <laughs> another zoo, told another zoo, and then we got to the um, San Diego Zoo. We started in uh, 2001, just a little over 20 years ago, and we actually, um, the first product I ever made was for my own dog. So I had a greyhound that had corns or calluses, which is actually really similar to the bumblefoot that the penguin at the zoo has. And from this boot came a number of other products and, and a whole product line of what we feature now. So now we have a lot of standard types of all different kinds of leg braces uh, for the front leg and for the back leg for all different kinds of issues, whether your pet has like a mild injury, like a sprain or a strain or something that's more serious, like even a fracture. So we have braces and splints that, that run the gamut as far as the amount of support that um, is provided for the pet. So uh, this is a boot for Lucas's right foot. This is a mold of his right foot. He, he walked in sand, made an impression, and then they put plaster in the footprint and it hardened. And then this is what we get to work with. So based on this, we make a pattern of his right foot. So that's the sole. 
Then to make the sole, we take a garden glove, which has a textured, rubberized palm, and, and the fingers, but the palm is what we use to, to make the uh, sole of the foot. So we just cut away the red part, which we don't need. and open out the sole, and then the pattern goes like that. We pin it on, and then we just cut around it. And then you get the sole of the boot, which is here. And on the other side, which would be, would be the inside of the boot, is just um, neoprene, it's nice and soft. And because Lucas has Bumblefoot, which is the sore right there, we have to put extra padding. So we cut out a piece of also neoprene, this size, and put it there. So this is on the inside between the sole and the inner sole, which gives him extra padding. So when he walks, he's much more comfortable. And also, since he's walking on his ankle, is this gonna tip him forward a little bit too, which is the way it's more normal for the penguins to walk. Then for the upper, part of the boot, we cut out another piece of neoprene, which will go on top, and it's a little bit bigger because obviously the foot has to get inside there. And then uh, the heel has a piece like this. It gets sewn on and, and stands upright because this is going to be around the back of his leg. <clears throat> and the, the strap that goes around his leg to keep the boot on would be like this, and it, and it closes with a, with a piece of Velcro to keep it on. So it all comes together with the, um, the strap and the heel, and I'll show you when I sew it, but it all comes together, and they, they love their boots, they can walk in them, they can swim in them, and they're much more comfortable. So that's Lucas's right foot boot.